Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to be showing you how to create customizable formulations. Now a customizable formulation is one that you can offer to a consumer so that they can pick and choose what they want to use when they want to use it. Consumers are increasingly wanting products that suits their particular needs on any given time of day or season and those needs and wants can vary according to their decisions. So as brands, to move with the times and this ever increasing trend, you need to be creating customizable formulations. Here's an example. If we take a small amount of base product and then apply an active concentrate, I have now created a variant of the base product. And you can create all sorts of active concentrates to suit a variety of consumer needs so they can pick and choose to suit their needs at any time. Now when creating these types of products you do need to be very careful about the way you construct the base formulation and the way you pick and choose your active concentrates. First let's take a look at the base. Your base needs to be a very easy to absorb formulation. It should contain non-ionic materials that are not affected by charge or other compatibility issues from actives that may be introduced to the formulation base. It should be stable and durable in various electrolyte rich and pH conditions because it will be exposed to various actives that your consumer may choose. The base should also be compatible over a broad pH range and your active must be able to blend readily with that base for easy application. Now, let's talk about that active. And you need to calculate your active concentrate very carefully to make sure it delivers the right amount of active on every application. It's also really important that you provide clear directions of use with your active concentrate, how much to use with how much of the base. In this example, I've made a base product here and put it in easy dispense serum pump. You'll need to make sure it dispenses the same amount of product every time so that when your consumer applies one drop of their active concentrate, they're getting the same amount of active concentrate mixed with the same amount of base every time. It's also important that the active concentrate comes in packaging that allows for accurate and easy dispensing by the consumer. Now the examples I'm going to show you today is where a consumer would use one drop of the active concentrate per application. But I'll also show you a table how to create active concentrates where the consumer might use three drops of active concentrate per application. It all comes down to the maths because to get the right result, your consumer needs to be using the right amount. Here's how it works. Actives are typically added at two to 5% by weight of a formulation. If you're adding two to 5% of an active in 0.5 grams of base, it means that 0.01 to 0.025 grams of active needs to be added. Dropper dispensing is typically 0.03 grams. You'll need to check your dispenser or dropper carefully and also the specific gravity of your active concentrate. Be careful, remember drops are in mil while product is in percent weight for weight. And mil and weight do not always equate. The active concentrate needs to be the active mixed in a suitable solvent in the right proportion. In my examples, you'll see me use glycerin, propane diol, and polysorbate 20, depending on the needs of the active. Remember that active concentrate needs to be stable and needs to mix readily with the base cream. It should also avoid the need for extra preservatives. 
because consumers don't want to see any extra preservatives in their products if they can help it. And you can create your active concentrates to be free of added preservatives using the examples I show you here. On this slide, you can see an example table of how much active to use in different types of solvents if you're applying one drop of an active concentrate. Let me show you how it works. In this first example, I have an active called Mini Poral by Lucas Meyer. Now, I've already measured out my active here in the same proportion that you just saw on that table. Now this particular material is lipid soluble, so I'm making the active concentrate with polysorbate 20. So I'm just adding my active to the polysorbate 20 in the exact ratio you saw in that table, mixing it up, and there I have my active concentrate. Now I could make this more dilute, and I'll show you that table in a moment. But this is the strongest active concentrate you can create, and it also delivers in each drop the efficacious amount in 0.5 grams of base product. Next, I'm going to show you an example using Liftonin Expert. In this particular case, I have again pre-measured out the active I'm going to need and in this case I'm going to mix it with glycerin because it's water soluble. Now by putting it in with the glycerin I avoid the need for any extra preservatives. And there you have it, the active concentrate. I could dispense into packaging and then it's ready for one drop per use application. Again, highly concentrated. I could dilute this such that you need three drops in the base cream per application. And I'll show you that table in a moment. Finally, one more example where we need to use an active at 5% by weight. And in this case, I have my active already measured out and I'm going to add it to propane dial this time. And there I have my active concentrate. Again, one drop of this active concentrate will deliver the amount required per 0.5 grams of base cream to ensure my consumer gets an efficacious result. Here's a table showing you how we can make more dilute versions of active concentrates such that a consumer would need to use three drops of active concentrate per 0.5 grams of base cream in an application. Some final points to know when selecting your actives to create your active concentrates. The active must be easy to mix with the solvent and the base cream. There should be no significant odour or colour as a concentrate or dilute it such that it no longer gives an undesirable impression if colour or odour is important to your consumer. It should be stable and you should mix it with a solvent so as to avoid extra preservatives like I've done in these examples. Your active concentrate should suit drop dispensing so using really sticky or thick actives will not suit this type of application. It should also be easy to dispense to the end of the dropper packaging. Again, really sticky or thick active concentrates are not suitable for this type of application. The active should be compatible with the base cream and any pH and charge variants it might be introduced to as part of the base cream. And it should also be compatible with other actives used in the formulation. So you could create one base cream or serum and provide your consumer with three, five or seven different active concentrates, even more if you wanted to. You could mix and match your active concentrates. You could provide your consumer with some videos on how to select the best active for them. You could provide them with packs 
on different types of active concentrates that will suit them on different days or depending on different seasons and even if they travel. Customizable formulations is all about giving the consumer what they want from a product at any given time. You need to make sure it delivers on its promises, gives them some efficacious results and make sure it really suits their needs because after all, that's exactly what they're looking for. I hope this video has introduced you to just some of the ideas that you can use when creating customizable formulations. But at the end of the day, it's your consumer telling you what they want from their products and this is how to give it to them. Happy formulating!